this is my kind of new packaging. I just have a new sticker mostly. I just changed it a little bit with the busy bugs still on it, but nice sitting on a little mushroom. It just feels nice, even though it's just the sticker that's different, it feels nice to have something like slightly different, I guess. So I posted about this on my Instagram, I posted about how I think it's kind of funny because I always see like in other people's studio vlogs or like on TikTok or wherever like getting ready for their day and they're wearing like these jeans and they have these cute outfits on and I'm like literally every single day if I'm at home working I'm wearing sweatpants and today I'm a marshmallow and I always wear fluffy socks and slippers. I used to do gymnastics, but I'm not as stretchy anymore. So I literally wear sweats. I have these exact same sweats in like four different colors from Target because they had a sale and I was like, I'm buying all those because they're so comfortable. It still makes me feel like I'm getting ready for the day when I put on, even if I put on like sweats. So I usually wear like a fun colored shirt with like some colored sweats or whatever color I have. It just helps me feel like more ready for the day but still comfortable and I don't look as lazy maybe maybe to other people I do look lazy to me I don't yeah this is really comfortable this is both from Target from uh, the Universal Thread brand that's my little I don't know I just want to share <laughs> today I'm just sending out some later orders um, I already finished doing packing all of my orders from like the main shop update I guess so, like the first few days that I got so now I'm just kind of doing all like the scragglers I get stragglers scragglers I'm hoping to start working on a lot of new well new art but also just new products yesterday I made some orders for some new memo pad designs which I'll probably show later on which I think memo pads are really fun to draw I don't know if everyone like likes them or like knows what to do with knows what to do with them but I like to decorate like my Hobonichi or my journal or whatever with different types of memo pad designs so I don't know I know there's a lot of different kinds of uses so I made one too that I feel like will be more general I guess like it's more like a to do type memo pad or like how do you feel today like I don't know, I'll show you later I can't I don't even know how to describe it um I just went to go get the mail or check my mail and they sent me these back. And I don't get it, like why do they, like they scratch out stamps and I'm like, why can't you just send it back to me? And say that it needs extra postage and I'll add it and I can just put it right back in there. But they scratch it out so you can't use the stamp anymore. And I'm like, that's such a waste. Anyways, and happier news, I got these um, sticker app stickers. They like offered to, have some stickers made for me and I feel really bad because <laughs> so they let me do two different designs but I had such a hard time converting the colors again from RGB to CMYK so she had to like reorder I don't know. it was like this whole thing and it, it was really hard trying to figure out the colors but she I think she got it I mean it's not her fault it's my like you know I need to figure out my colors out so I got two designs made I hope they came out good and some scissors also, I have I have lip gloss on, and I never wear lip gloss, but my lips are so dry because of the weather that I was like, I'm just going to put on lip gloss. I don't know. Okay, so I got this one remade of Richard the Raindrop. I really wanted to get, like, nice quality stickers made of him because I think he's so cute, and I want to make, like, a little um, sticker sheet for him. Thank you, sticker app. These are 
these are really good. I, I'm happy with this color. So I also made these before, but I really wanted to try this with like sparkles. So this is how it came out. Let's see it. It's kind of the glare, but it has little like sparkles where the little like stars are, I guess, if you want to call them that. So yeah, thank you Sticker App for the sticker. show me any proof so I don't know how they really look. I'm always scared about how they come out. Oh. It's another little white border. I didn't want it to but so this is like a little ravioli ravioli give me the formuli. It's not as saturated as I'd like it to be but it's so cute. Okay this is a little busy bug one. I wanted to do one kind of in honor of one year of Busy bug. The colors came out pretty good for that one. It's the Go Little Rockstar. I know it's off of that little like TikTok that's like going around. And then I wanted to get some new ones of Busy Bug. I just wanted like a simple Busy Bug one. The other ones I had were glossy and I like vine, um, matte stickers. So I wanted to get these reordered. And then this one. So I don't know if anyone remembers this drawing I did last year, but I did it for suicide awareness. Or I drew the picture for suicide awareness, and so I wanted to make a little sticker of it, which says you are never alone. Yeah, I just really wanted to make this one into like a nice sticker for people to buy, to have, because it seemed like people really liked it and it meant a lot to some people. We got the new stickers. So. 
probably order some more and then i really want to work on some washi tape but all of the washi tape manufacturers are um having their holiday right now so so hopefully soon i can get some designed um today i'm still working on um packing orders my this whole other side of the room that you can't see is like a total mess maybe i'll show <laughs> see yeah it looks like trash because that's just how my brain is right now whenever i'm packing i just kind of when i'm done i like throw things on the floor and then i'll organize it later i kind of want to do a video on how i package orders and stuff and like my whole process so if that's something you want to see then just let me know today are to work on my website and patreon so that's kind of like my big i guess you could say project right now i decided to go with uh, shopify because i had heard a lot of good things and i watched a, a lot of videos about the differences between squarespace shopify and big cartel i think i knew either one was kind of a good option and just better than etsy i guess some people do ask about like what's the difference in switching from or what's the point of switching from Etsy to your own website and for me I think it's just gotten to the point where like the fees kind of outweigh my use for it. I don't know how else to word it but basically the amount of fees that I'm getting I might as well just move like I might as well just buy um, a subscription to my own website if that makes sense sometimes I get asked too about if you want to open a shop like where should you start and I mean honestly it's kind of whatever you want but I think the easiest thing to do is to start with Etsy because they pretty much do like they do so much for you and they figure out a lot of stuff for you and they can do like the shipping labels they can they just have everything set up it's you know it's just super user friendly especially for a beginner but i would eventually i guess move on to like another platform just because of the fees i mean i still don't really understand the fees 100 percent, but i kind of like calculated as to like almost 75 cents per order or per item and i don't know if that's exactly right but that's kind of what it's I feel like it's calculated to but either way it's a lot so for me I feel like I'm at the point where it would be more cost effective to just have my own website and to just pay for that I will probably keep my Etsy open just for people who live like in the UK or um, like overseas and stuff just because the like the VAT tax thing like I don't even I don't really know how that works or like how you even do all that stuff um, and even now with like having my own website, I know that I'm going to have to figure out a lot of stuff now that Etsy used to do for me. So I'm a little nervous about that. I'm going to try to see if I can find a friend or something who can help me like figure out all the like like the tax stuff and I don't know. I need I need to look at like how in depth it needs to be. There's a lot I haven't really started for sure yet. Um but I just want to get off Etsy before like the feeds keep building because it's just, I don't know, it's just like sucky when you see like the fees and you're like, wow, I could have used that. So yeah, that's what I'm going to try to work on today is the website and then the Patreon. Um, I'm really excited for Patreon because I feel like it's just something fun. I've seen a lot of people have, you know, start their Patreons and I love like supporting other artists on Patreon and getting like the like unique little stickers and prints and stuff that you can get from there so i'm just excited to like make my own i already have like some ideas i think it'll be interesting to kind of s figure out how to separate patreon and my shop i guess like like for me whenever it comes to 
my shop updates i usually have like a theme in mind of what i want the shop update to be like i don't know just to have like i and a theme because it's just easier for me to like plan everything and design stuff so i'm kind of like should it be the same theme or should it be a completely different theme i'm kind of thinking through a bunch of options and like even like all the tiers and stuff um so if you have any ideas or stuff you like to see in patreon comment below so i can get some ideas of things y'all might be interested or things i can work towards i guess i think it'll be a good start for patreon because i really want to start getting some of my sticker sheets like manufactured i don't know if you can hear june barking in the background so the ideas i kind of have for patreon is so far i just have like three tiers um kind of made up oh, let me get this this dog okay she did it i don't know she won't listen to me uh what was i saying oh so i kind of have some ideas written out for patreon and what i want to do like the tiers and stuff so so far i have four maybe three different tiers um like the first one would be more of like a tip jar type thing and then like kind of behind the scenes stuff and then like the one right above would be probably like sketchbook stuff i want to include a little like book analysis type thing i mean not like analysis because i'm not like a book illustrator even though that's like a dream at some point i since i i've mentioned this before but i look since i love collecting antique children's books i really like to go through them and to look at like how they drew out everything and just the colors and I don't know just something like more critical thinking I guess because by looking at other illustrators and books and stuff like that that's how a lot of what helped me grow as an artist and getting my style and I think that's something I mean it takes a long time to find your style and even now like I feel like I've kind of like found a style a little bit but I'm it's still like being it's always being tweaked like you'll never I feel like find your 100% style but anyways but i want to like maybe help in a way like in a in a tier right above like help people like guide them on how to find your art style or just i don't know just getting inspiration i guess or even just maybe drawing challenges or i don't know because even for me i i want to be able to challenge myself to draw new things and to be more creative so yeah if you have any other ideas for that too again comment below um and then the other tier right above I want to do a maybe like a podcast or something even though I have like no idea how to do that and I but no, have no business doing a podcast. I'm introverted but I talk a lot to myself in my head. So maybe like a podcast or something different but I'm not sure that's the that's the tier that I'm kind of like man do I need it. So yeah there's a fourth tier of course which is the postcard and a sticker or sticker sheet something like that. Something unique um, different from or it wouldn't be something that I'm selling. What is it called? Exclusive. It'd be like exclusive postcard and sticker or sticker sheet. I'll probably have like, oh, I think that's what I'll do for another tier. Is like have like a secret shop. I've always wanted a secret shop. I think that would be fun. Yes. So uh, I've also thought about maybe having a original tier, but I don't know. I might have like one maybe, but it's hard for me to sell original art because I just get so attached to it. But I'm sure I can make like a multiple or something. But, so yeah, that's like something I'm thinking about too, but I'm not positive yet. So that's kind of what I have in mind for Patreon. I just really want to like be able to connect more with like people who follow me and I don't know, just kind of just create like a little community where we can all just like chat and learn from each other and stuff. I think it's just something that would be fun and I think it's the next step for me. So yeah, I'll let y'all know when I am going to post about it or like when I'm going to like launch it I guess I'm kind of nervous right now though to do anything big because I think something happened I think with like the Instagram algorithm in the past month I think they had like an update or something everyone's like impressions and reach and stuff has like dropped like significantly like crazy like mine had dropped has dropped a bunch and I'm just like what? and it was like slowly starting to get better too like from because last you know from my first vlog I talked about I recorded that when I was going through like a really bad reach time I guess on Instagram and so I was having a really hard time and I felt like in January it was just starting to pick up again and then it just dropped like crazy and I was like what is going on but I feel like this time around I feel I still feel kind of bummed and it makes me feel bummed but 
I don't know. I just feel like there's nothing I can really do about it. And I don't know. I hope they fix it and just, I don't know. I wish they would just listen to us, but they don't listen. They just want money. That's all they want is money. I think it's hard, especially for us small artists and creators and stuff, because we depend on social media to help us grow and so that we can make a living, basically, for our art. I feel like I've been dealing with it better this time around. It's still bum a bummer, but I feel like I've been having a lot of fun, too, with just sketching a lot more and trying to just come up with new ideas. And I don't really feel like, like I'm in an art blog for the first time after, like, a shop update. Usually, when I have a shop update, I have an art blog almost immediately after. <laughs> and I don't actually feel like that right now, so I'm kind of glad. But... I feel like whenever I sketch, it just helps me have all these all of these new ideas, like pretty quickly, I guess, and it gives me like ideas for themes, for shop updates, and all that. So I don't know. Hopefully, something will change because it's not really like sustainable, I guess. I'll probably I'll show you maybe some of the icons I've drawn for my Patreon so far. So so far I have oh so I showed this in the last vlog, but. This will be like the little, the smallest like Patreon tier that I have. So this is like my, I don't know if you can see it, but that was like my little sketch page trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Smallest tier, the next tier up, and then this will be on my website, I think. And then this one I drew yesterday. This one will probably be like the sticker and postcard one. And I want to make little stickers of this guy. So yeah, those are the little doodles. I like this desk and this desk, but they don't both fit. packages when I got here so I got this for my light switch but I don't know if it'll fit cute little thing look, look how cute it is I want to put it on my light switch just look at the details it's technically for like a nursery but whatever
here is the finished result and I'm really happy with how it came out. I was kind of not sure what to do. I think I spent most of all day just trying to like decide what I wanted to do with it, but I think it looks pretty cute. So I decided to do this little mini studio makeover because I got sent by the lovely people from Flexi Spot who kindly very kindly it sent me their little standing desk so let me tell you the specific name because I don't want to like botch it it's called the Flexi Spot Komhar All-in-One Standing Desk EW8 I'm actually really really happy with it because literally the week that they messaged me about the desk I was like packing a bunch of orders and I was like on my little wooden desk over here and was like man I really wish my desk was higher because my back was like killing me and they just happened to message me that week sent me the desk and I was super excited because I've seen a lot of other artists get this desk and um so yeah since I've almost basically finished there's just a few things that I like want to add I guess is why I don't feel finished but it's basically for the most part done so I just want to give like maybe a little studio tour maybe halfway you'll see I guess the ugly parts of it that isn't done yet but whatever we're, we're growing so as most people know this is like my original desk that I have always posted I've always since I was younger loved to make collages on the wall and so this is why this is also a collage I used to put like band posters and good Charlotte on my wall and I used to put like my drawings on the wall and I just like love having stuff on my wall so this is why there are a thousand pictures on this wall. So anyways, to give a little tour, this desk is from Ikea. It comes with this little drawer where I usually put all my sketchbooks in here. I have different kinds, so I just switch out from work, whatever I need to use it for. And there's June on the ground where she usually lays as I work. I guess a summary of this desk, like this is my like drawing art desks like where I try to get more like creativity out and sketching in my journal or drawing on my iPad whatever it is painting so I have a lot of my art supplies here just close so I usually use um Caron de Osh. I don't know if I'm saying that right but I use their watercolor color pencils um I don't really use them for as watercolor though so I have like these two sets I got this one first and it kind of like introduced me into uh their color pencils and I would actually say that they're probably my favorite brand of color pencils. I also have a bunch of like Prismacolor color pencils. Some more Prismacolors here and then I have some like cheap brushes that I need to buy better versions of because they're not the best. And then I have some crayons or like fancy crayons I guess you call them. I have all of my um, markers like Copics and whatever up here. So this like I guess this desk is kind of like my creative outlet type desk because I also have all of these markers, highlighters, and my washi tape because I also do my journaling at this desk as well whenever I do. So this, everyone always asks, um, this is actually a um, nail polish holder. So yes, this is just a nail polish holder from Amazon. And this whole wooden shelf thing is also from Amazon. I just searched like bamboo like desk organizer or something like that. I don't know if it's still like in stock, but that's, I got it off of Amazon. So yeah, I just keep a bunch of like my journals or like planners here, some notepads, some stickers. So yeah, and this is like a little book shelf holder where I have some of my antique children's books. Um, this is also an antique that I found. So like I've mentioned before, I collect children's books. So I have this little book holder too with all my children's books, the vintage ones. I also put some books in this little Noah's Ark. I found this little Noah's Ark at an antique shop and my husband bought it for me for Valentine's Day. I mostly have books in here by the illustrator Felicita Sala. She's probably like my all-time favorite illustrator and so I have almost all of her books. I also have some books underneath my desk too. The book holders are from Christian Robinson from Target. Um, I don't think they have them anymore but that's where that's from. This old chair is my husband's, I think, grandpa or great grandpa's chair. So, and I just luckily am able to have it even though I kind of, I guess, stole it from him. But I use it all the time, like every day. So, 
And this pillow is from Target, Christian Robinson as well. So that's... Oh. I'm trying to think of what else I haven't really shown, but... Um, and here I just have some more washi tape. It's in there. This cart has like a lot of my journaling supplies, at least on the top part. Uh, so I have like a ton of memos as you can see, I have a problem. My sticker books. Um, and then in here is more of like art stuff, my gouache and my markers. I need to find a better way to like organize this stuff, but I want to make like more shelves maybe that I can have, but I always just want it close to me. Like I guess I don't really care if it's messy, like it's just as long as it's contained in this little organized cart. Um, and then here's just kind of like random stuff. I have some pan pastels. So yeah, this cart's kind of just like random cart. So now I guess is the reveal of my new work desk. Boom. So like I said, FlexiSpot sent me this nice standing desk and I'm really happy with it. It's super convenient, super helpful that it like goes up and down because my back isn't dying at the end of the day now. And a lot of times when I'm packing orders, I just like to stand and pack stuff like I just because I'm constantly having to get up and everything so it has like these cool presets that you can use to like make it how tall or short you want it and I really love like these charging ports too because it's like super convenient because my phone is always dying on my laptop right now I have it on the standing height I just put all my packing stuff here that I used to have on my old desk which I don't know if I'll show you because it's kind of a mess over there now so everything is like in reach and pretty and whatever I want to put something here because I don't know I just wanted to find something to put there but I couldn't and everything's always sold out at Ikea this is where I'll do all my packing from now on and this is the little mailer thing that I painted the other week so I guess to show a little tour of this disc this is just kind of all of my packing supplies that I use when I'm like packing orders from shop updates my like wrapping paper stuff for like packing prints stickers um, our packaging stickers, envelopes, packing tape, my roll labels, and then I kind of have some stuff like laid around that I use as like paperweights a lot of times when I'm like packing orders or I usually use one of these for like um, a paperweight and then I have some just, I don't know, random stuff. I always like to have things decorated and pretty. Like, I know some people can look at my desks and think, like, wow, they look so cluttered. But I really, like, thrive off of being in pretty environments or, like, inspiring environments. I don't know. Like, my environment really affects how I function a lot of times. Like, how focused I can be. So, that's why I always have a bunch of stuff on my desk. It makes me happy and it makes me work better. So, that's why I have flowers and this guy again this trash can trash cans from Amazon my little figurine some flowers this is like where I just thought this was like a cool idea I guess like putting this string that I used to pack my orders it's not the most like convenient because it like kind of falls apart when it, like you can't just take one at a time but I was trying to find some hooks at Ikea but everything is sold out as usual at mine so I also wanted to show this little like sticky note that I've always kept. This is from December 6th of 2020 and this is when I first started my shop like the first year so I think it was only like my third shop update. The timing honestly wasn't that great in the first place but whatever. So I was just starting and I had actually like designed like this like um, washi tape sticker sheet for Christmas and then I made this little like egg notepad design and it's funny because it's like I don't you know really like it now but back then it's like I thought it was like the cutest thing or whatever and I remember I didn't get a single order I think I think I got maybe one or two orders from like a friend or something and I literally cried for like I feel like almost a week I was so sad like I just remember my self-esteem being so low and I like wrote this little note to myself saying one day you will be great like just as a way to like I don't know like encourage myself and I mean even though I don't think I'm like the greatest thing out there right now I guess but like I am proud of how far I've come and so it's just like I always want to just keep it to remind me of like you know how far I have come because I remember feeling really crappy that day for a few days so a little sentimental moment so right now I have it on the like stand setting if I'm going to sit down at the desk, then I have this preset at 1. Isn't that cool? 
say if I'm going to sit at the desk or something, if I feel like sitting, then I'll just move it back down. But I mostly have it standing because this is my packing desk, so I'm always going to stand for the most part. Isn't it cool? Really excited to like keep setting up this little space here, but for now... So, I've always had this shelf, but I actually added more shelves to it. I went to, this is also from Ikea. That's antiqued, antiqued Ikea. I want to paint that. Now on the very top shelf, I have my sticker sheets, and these are all from Amazon. Um, I think they're like technically palette holders, like for makeup. This is where all my stickers are. I want to find a better way to organize my stickers, but this is what I got so far. These are all from um, Daiso, I think, and I just put all my little stickers in there to organize. I have some washi tapes in here. I'm already kind of running out of some. And down here is where I'll put all my notepads for now, I guess. Um, I have some designs coming that will go in here. And then I'll be putting some down here too. These are like the new stickers that I haven't found a place yet. And this paper organizer I just got also from Ikea. And it just has all my different kinds of papers that I use, like sticker paper, printer paper. I thought it was a nice little touch, I guess. Because um, they all used to be in these little boxes down here. Which was fine, but it was just kind of inconvenient to always have to like open and close them all the time. Um, I have all my packaging supplies right here. I need to get some more little padded ones, so I'll probably move that out and put a new box of packing stuff there. Um, I have these little crates that I still need to build. I just remembered that I'll probably put some movie memos in it or something. I don't know, but sorry if I'm talking too fast. I just realized I kind of talk fast in general. So yeah, this is the whole setup right now. Until I can find some more like organization things for my stickers and stuff. I just think it's like super convenient now too just because I have all my packing stuff on one corner. You know, I can just be standing here and packing orders, getting my stuff. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this little corner came out. This is the new light switch that I put in. The cutest thing in the whole entire world. It's so cute. It's Cinderella. If you can't tell, this is a little slipper. And I got this off of eBay, actually, I think. I just searched, like, vintage light switch, I think, and it popped up. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that all of these little crates, I guess, these are all from Target from the dollar section, like, last year. Um, I don't think they have them anymore, but I bought a bunch of them when they came out because they're so cheap, and I thought... What an easy way to organize things <laughs> and I just painted them myself um, these different colors so I have them for that over there and then for all my notepads and the washi tapes there um, and then I even have one over here this is some other packing supplies that I use that just don't fit over there on this side um, I really want to find something like maybe a little card or I don't know to put between there this actually is too thick to get put there so I just have this stuff over here, but I don't always use these that much. This is the sponge for the packing tape and the water I put, or like the spray bottle for the sponge, and then this, my stamps. Um, so yeah, this side isn't like super organized. It's kind of like just random stuff that I'm still trying to like sort through, figure out what I'm going to do with it. And this side of the room is kind of messy still because I just don't really know what to do with it. Um, but I decided to move my Cricut just like on its own on here with my printer just because having it on the shelf was just kind of annoying um but i have all my scrapbooking supplies underneath here i've always been an avid scrapbooker but i just haven't been doing it as much anymore yeah so this is kind of ugly i need to figure this side out more so yeah that's pretty much the whole new setup right now if you have any questions about anything just go ahead and leave a comment below and i will probably try to respond to you. this video i think may be a little bit shorter than my other ones but let me know like do you like shorter videos or long videos <sighs> i'm curious i'm just gonna end the video here because i have a lot of stuff that i need to work on and i need to get this video out already so yeah